Hey guys, this is LJ back with another video and today we're going to unbox the Microsoft Surface Book and this is the Intel Core i5-256GB 8GB RAM and this is without the, the dedicated GPU and this is just, I believe this is one step up from the base model so uh, let's get to do this All right, there's another box in there, and this one I ordered from Costco, so it came with the bundle that has Office 365 in it. And uh, all right, here's the Surface box. Surface, Microsoft Surface Book, a picture on the top, nothing on the right. Nothing on top. Another Microsoft branding on the left, and then uh, on the bottom, some information on the bottom. All right, it says uh, include Microsoft Surface Book, Windows 10 Pro, Surface Pen includes AAA power support, support for Wi-Fi. Bluetooth high speed internet required as you as I told you guys this is the one I ordered this is a configuration Intel Core i5 256 GB 8 GB RAM and uh, Microsoft Corporation on the bottom there you guys have it all right some other information on the top you guys can pause the video if you guys want to read that the next thing in the box was as I told you guys that it's a bundle so they threw in this wireless adapter display adapter Microsoft made by Microsoft this goes through the HDMI port on your TV and then you can wirelessly show whatever is on your display on the Microsoft book on your big screen TV All right. That's this. All right, there's a flap here to pull. I believe I'm not opening it the wrong way. Okay. And then there's the surface book. And I believe this would be the charger. Alright, let's take it out. Fit snugly in there. Alright, that's the surface book. And a plastic wrap and the ugly gap that's there it should be flat but that's how Microsoft decided to design it so we cannot do much about it let take, let's put this on the side for a while and let me show you guys what's not, what other things are okay there's the surface pen it comes with the pen unlike the iPad Pro that you had to buy the pencil for 99 bucks on the side this one comes with it that's a good touch from Microsoft would be uh, and there's some literature here that we never read surface how to use it i don't care about that and then there's a charger on the side i believe this is a charger that we're going to use to charge it up all right guys let's take the wrapping off and then i'll show you guys how it looks Here it is. Not that heavy. You can easily manage it lighter than most laptops. All right, Microsoft logo on the top, and some ventilation fins around here for the Intel processor to cool down. And I heard they have a specialized uh, cooling route they designed for the processor to stay cool. Volume knobs on the left, power button, and simple cutout to open it up I'll show you guys in a bit and on the right 3.5 millimeter head for headset jack and uh, mini display mini port and this is a charging port for the charging port for the surface and uh, 
nothing on the top just the hinge and on the back some rubbers on the bottom and top for anti-slip rubbers for when you put it on the table so it won't slip off and some Microsoft branding right there if you guys can see it and uh, on the left side we have two 3.0 USB ports and uh, SD card reader and that's about it so let's open it up I'm oh, sorry I forgot to tell you guys about the camera there's a camera on the top and uh, two microphones beside it right there and this is open the hinge is very good actually like it feels like not too firm not too soft not flimsy at all nice and some soft foamish paper to protect the keyboard and there it is guys this trackpad is made of I believe glass this time around not uh, the fabrication material that we have on the Surface uh, Pro and uh, the keys feel nice my hands sit very nice on it comfortable and that's the screen I believe it's 12.3 inches diagonally and there you guys can see it that's the screen there and uh, nice overall the quality workmanship feels solid and sturdy not flimsy at all and uh, let me show you guys how it looks next to the iPad Pro. Wow, this this i this the Surface is Surface Book is below the iPad Pro, and they are totally same size because this one is with the LG keyboard cover, and this one comes with the keyboard now, right? So I can if I put them on top of each other, they are basically iPod maybe because of the hinge there's, there's a little little bulge here because of the hinge otherwise in, t in, in terms of width and diagonal it's, it's about the same size and of course that's with the keyboard right if you take the keyboard off the iPad Pro then it's going to be much slimmer and smaller but uh, with it you can't really okay let me show you guys open it up but I hope I can fit it in. Alright, that's the iPad Pro right there. And this is the Microsoft Surface Book. Right there. So you guys can see it now. I hope you guys can see it. There you guys can see the size difference. Of course, the Surface Book looks uh, looks bigger, and there's more room on the keyboard to work around. But in terms of screen size, there's not much difference. I believe that is 12 inches, and this is 12.3 inches diagonally. So uh, that's about it, guys. Just a quick unbox of the Microsoft Surface Book that I just got, and the size comparison with the with the iPad Pro. Let me take the iPad Pro out of the keyboard cover and then show you guys. Alright guys, that's the iPad Pro without the LG, oh sorry, Logitech keyboard cover. And now it's much smaller, much thinner, much lighter than the Microsoft Surface Pro. You guys can see the screen and overall footprint Microsoft Surface is a little bit wider and taller from the screen other than that basically not much difference in terms of screen real estate I don't know you guys can fit in my camera I don't have to show you guys some other way I'll take a little bit back there you guys can see it alright guys so let me play around with it and uh, okay let me do the first boot actually to show you guys that too 
All right, let's do the first boot. I wanted to keep this video less than 10 minutes, but uh, I don't think it's going to be possible. So let's see if it has some juice. I don't think so. Nope. I have to charge it up, I believe. Sorry, I kind of showed you the first boot. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.